Engine topping is a very important engine adjustment as it derates the engine power. This process is very important to be done correctly. As an advice, always use the part power stop. As a reminder there is another option with this to use Pratt & Whitney tool called Slave Stop. This tool has different part number depending on the engine being topped. The process of topping is to stop the flow of fuel going into the engine at specific N1 gas producer turbine speed, thus setting the power output of the engine. During this adjustment, the two instruments that you will need to be looking at are N1 speed and N2 speed of the specific engine doing the adjustment as the other engine will be in idle. For our video we will be using the part power stop and remember if you are using the slave tops, the rigging RPM numbers will be different. As a reference, the part power stop is the one that comes with the engine and the slave stop is the Pratt & Whitney special tool. In order to get ready to see this in action, I created a short video of what you will seeing in the cockpit while doing the topping check. Here you can see how the N1 indication increased to a point that N2 drops, at this moment is where you will write down the N1% that N2 drops. Then with this numbers you will go to Bell Helicopter Maintenance Manuals and adjust accordingly depending on the model of helicopter you are rigging. In this particular case, it is a Bell 212 HP helicopter. Note that you will need to be sure which tool you are using and what engine and helicopter you are doing topping on. With this in mind, as a reference from the maintenance manual, you will find the following. Check that ing falls within the following range. On PT6 T3 engines, 96.1% to 97.1% with part power trim stop. On PT6 T3B slash dash 3BF and PT6 T3B slash dash 3BG engines, 99.8% to 100.8% with part power trim stop. On PT6 T3B slash dash 3BF and PT6 T3B slash dash 3BG engines, 100.1% with part power trim stop. Note. 1. The maximum gas generator speed adjustment and the manual automatic interconnect linkage adjustment affect each other. Hence, the entire procedure in this check must be carried out whenever either of these adjustments requires checking. Note, 2. To ensure the capability of setting the gas generator maximum speed stop under a wide variety of ambient conditions without exceeding engine operating limits, an integral part power trim stop is provided. If, due to extreme cold weather, the required ing cannot be obtained using the integral stop, use slave stop, PWC 32821. The part power trim stop, when in use, enables adjustment of the maximum obtainable ing at lower power settings. Note, 3. In very bad cold weather conditions, it may not be possible to do the maximum ing check before reaching the maximum torque limit when you use slave stop. In such circumstances, refer to the airframe maintenance manual to do an in-flight maximuming check. Note, 4. During adjustment of the gas generator maximum speed stop, ensure the following conditions. The internal threads of the index lever are fully engaged. The stop screw touches the part power trim stop in the in-use position. Thank you for watching this video, and please, subscribe to our YouTube channel at HTI Global.